Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. We've got the Charlotte Hornets facing the Indiana Pacers. Ladies and gentlemen, ready? And the Pacers start off with the ball. So let's take a look at the Charlotte starting lineup. Kemba Walker is out there with Jones. Then it's Johnson. Then there's Mourning. And it's Rice in at the small forward position. Well, you really have to like how George uses his body effectively down low there. I mean, the defense pretty much has no choice but to foul him in that situation. Indiana shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. They throw good. Paul George. He's off on the second. And George has learned a lot and I think continues to evolve as a leader. He relishes the chance to deliver for this team. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. And so it's Indiana with it. And you love the pride Jones has in his defense. He makes life very difficult for shooting. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. And he should be. I mean, remove all doubt. Get it down hard and simple. And so it's Indiana with it. After the basket by Charlotte. And Kemba Walker is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Now, here is O'Neal. Down to five on the shot clock. Jones with it. George picks him up. And the basket by Jones. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Boy, it's a thing of beauty watching him attack the defense like that. I mean, they wanted no part of him on that layup. Here's Smith. Morning with some nice D. Well, that's a devastating miss there. You got to convert on these easy layups deep inside. It's deflected. Jones. Here's Johnson. Banked in off the glass. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Here's O'Neal. A shot's good on the assist by George. And George is not just a scorer now. He also passes the ball well. Looking to keep his guys involved. Back to Jones. And Jones slams it in. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. 59 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Jackson kicks to Granger. Inside. Here's Smith. That's his second foul of the first quarter, and they may want to sit him for a while to avoid number three. Indiana shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. At the line for your Pacers. Rick first Smith. free throw is good. And yeah, Smith's such a talented offensive player, whether he's operating in the low block or facing up from mid-range. He creates problems for the defense. Gotta like the confidence. Such an important part of making shots. Nice seeing a big man knock down free throws. And Charlotte again with the bucket. And he'll take that. The nice, easy mid-range jumper. First bucket of the day. The defense just gave him that one. And we talk about starting on a high note. Didn't seem to respect his mid-range J there. Here's Rice. And it's Smith with the rebound. Boy, the defense was great. Superb, stellar, platinum level. Can't really contest that shot any better than that. Mm. And George kicks to Jackson. Passes it to Smith. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. 
And, and when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. When it's on top, leading by three. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. And that frees up the shooters going forward. Also, what passing we've seen from them here early. I mean, there could be a big number in the assist column if this keeps up. So on the floor for Charlotte to start this second quarter. Johnson is out there with Morning. And there's Kemba Walker. Then it's Jones. And it's Rice in at the three. A small forward. And the shot goes in. Smiths has got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Pacers. Great job getting to the right spot on the court. Beautiful passing all the way around. And here's Walker outside. O'Neal with the rebound. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Indiana Pacers. They trail by one. Out of and we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, it is the era of positionless basketball, but how exactly did we get here? Well, new defensive rules at the turn of the century encouraged face-up scoring, motion-based offense, and guard play over isolation and post-ups. As a result, offensive rules have become more interchangeable. It has become a, a positionless game now. David, thank you very much. And that one falls for Rice. Yeah, and in college, on his way to winning the national championship at Michigan, Rice set the March Madness scoring record. He was out of his mind in that tournament, averaged over 30 points a game. All free throws, good from Rice. Well, i tell you what, like how cool and collected he was getting the job done at the line in this one. To the middle, here's Jackson. It's not going to go for him. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Rice kicks to Jones. And the layup's good off the glass. Jones has got six. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Here's Jackson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. George passes to O'Neal. Johnson over to help. O'Neal misses. Charlotte leading by five. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Yeah, I think the train has left the station in regards to Walker ever being able to live his shoot-first reputation down. But as we see here, this is a guy who can make some spectacular passes. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. <laughs> when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. Yeah, a lot of blanks there. Can't hit a thing. Has to be deflated. O'Neal kicks to Jackson. Mark Jackson is so good at setting up his guys with his passing, but more importantly, or just as important to this team, is his leadership. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one at the line is good. Taking two shots. Jackson hits both of them. 11 left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Johnson. Pacers with the rebound. George finds Jackson. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. At the line for your Pacers. That free throw, no good. At the line for two. And he sinks the second. Hornets leading by four. Inside. It's tipped. Granger passes to Smith. The shot, no good. Morning with some nice D. And Charlotte turns it over again. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. The Pacers have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. That's his second personal foul. At the line. No good on the free throw. Mark Jackson. Taking two shots. He hits the second from the line. And here's Charlotte. Three-point lead. 
and he lobs it up toward the rim. It's George on the wing, defended by Jones. O'Neal against Johnson. Here's Smith. It's in. It's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. Great effort. Terrific instinct. It's just solid all-around play, Kevin. With four seconds on the clock, Rice, no good. Phasers have made seven free throws and missed three in this game. Shooting for Indiana, Rick Spence. No good on that one. Taking two shots. That one drops. He ties it up. It's stolen. Here's Schmitz. And so it's tied as we head to halftime. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Sitting alongside. For the Pacers, the first quarter was pretty even. They kept at it on both ends of the floor. And at the end of the period, they had a slight deficit of three points. If you look at the second quarter scoring, they had a small edge. They really hung tough as we got close to halftime. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Pacers? Well, they shot under 40% in the half. That tells the story right there. The defense deserves some credit for disrupting them a little bit, but they need to counteract with more creativity on offense. Few isolations, more movement, better shot selection. Welcome back, everyone, to Indianapolis, Indiana, where the famous Chase Tower stands tall above the city. Spence were discussed during the half. And it's the Hornets ball. We've got Danny Granger. Paul George is out there with Jackson. Then there's Jermaine O'Neal. And it's Smiths in at the five down low. So that's the group out there for Indiana. On the basket by Jones. And Jones is known to be a deadly three-point shooter. A beautiful shooting motion there on those triples. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Kevin, the league has unveiled a five-point plan to improve player-referee relations. Things became heated last season with a lot of star players ejected for arguing with officials. The emphasis on respect and clear standards of conduct on both sides can only help. Kevin? Very good point, David. Completely agree. Thanks. And here's George for three. Anzo Morning grabs the miss. Morning's got his sixth rebound on the night. Ice lays it in without an inch of room around him. Ice has got six points. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Shot is good off the back yes. rim and in. Charlotte leading by three. Outside, Walker. That one, no good. O'Neal with the defensive effort. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. The offensive rebound. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. A lot of quickness on that drive. Walker loves forcing the pace. Excellent at drawing contact. That one is off. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. And not what we're accustomed to seeing from him at all from the free throw line. Here's Smith. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Outside, Walker to the middle. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's O'Neal. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Johnson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Now the Pacers moving it up. Here's Jackson, and Morning sends it back. How about the reach of Morning? Very impressive and very long, too. An elite shot blocker. He does a good job timing his jump. Indiana trailing here. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And Walker kicks to Rice. 
And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Hornets have made two and missed two at the line tonight. And he knocks down the first one. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Jackson deciding where to go with it. Right around three minutes into the second half. For the time. Six attempts for him at the line. He's made four. Shooting for Indiana. Mark Jackson. First one falls for him. Two shots. And it's tied up with that one. Walker with it. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for it. And we wrap up the third and looking to be an exciting fourth quarter. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for Indiana. All right now, a chance to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. And Charlotte looking at who they've got. Jones is out there with Kemba Walker. Then there's Morning. Then it's Johnson, and it's Rice in at the three side. Oh, the size of Smith so intimidating. He's seven foot three Hulk. He uses those big hands to turn away shots. Here's O'Neal to the paint. And there's Granger. That's good on the assist by O'Neal. And the Pacers lead by four. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks of history. And, you know, Walker knows how to get to the line a few times per game. Actually, his aggressiveness and quickness with the ball, tough to match up against. And he knocks down the first one. That one is no good. Indiana leading by three. On the wing, Granger. Launches a three. Second shot opportunity. And O'Neal finishes inside. And hey, you just hate to give up those second chance points. Yeah, those are back crushers. I mean, they really crack your back when you give teams second shots like that. Here's Jones. Got it. Good job in the low post. And he has the chops for this. Raising the intensity when it matters most. Yeah, he's really calm in these situations. Simply takes his time in tight spots. You got to be patient. And he is playing to his strengths. Jackson, that's good. Hornets trail by five. Ice passes to Morning. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Boy, the interior game of Morning. Really strong, solid. Excellent at getting quality shots in close. O'Neal passes to Smith. It's good. Smith has got the lead. Back up to five now for Indiana. Worked that one inside nicely. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Outside, Jones. A shot missing. George with the defensive effort. Jackson gets the buck. And the Pacers lead by seven. He's their go-to guy. When he shoots the ball like he has today, that's what the scoreboard usually looks like. 116 left in the game. Johnson down low. Guarded by O'Neal. Johnson's shot is off. A good interior D there prevents the deuce. Hey, you know, that's not easy at all. When guys get this close to the bucket, it's tough to stop the basket. Jackson passes to Smith. 
score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine, 67% shooting. And how much longer are they going to keep that foot on the accelerator? As long as required, Greg. I mean, you can tell they want to put this thing to bed. Charlotte calls timeout. They're down by nine. There's 57 seconds left in the game. And now we get a chance to check out our Jordan player of the game. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hand. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. And here's Indiana. They're on a 14-5 run here. Jones dishes to Rice. Here's Walker. Excellent D there from Jordan. They're this close to putting it away. Yeah, they don't need to do anything special. Just take time off the clock. And so Indiana again turning it over. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Granger. Here's Jackson. Rejected by Walker. They retain possession. And O'Neal gets it to go. And you can see how this game is going. I mean, put a body on somebody. Exactly, man. Come on. You got to be physical down there. There's got to be some intensity and some physicality on the board. Jackson kicks to Granger. Oh, and he misses the dunk. And it's sent back by George. Terrific focus from George there. Reading the shooter the entire way through. A great shot block. So it's Indiana picking up the win. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.